Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony, and last week you met Alice. She's helping me again today in the studio. And before we get started with the actual video, I just want to take a moment to wish you all well. I hope you're all staying safe and practicing the social distancing guidelines to help in this fight against the coronavirus. Now that being said, you guys know this channel. I try to bring you guys a variety of different tech tips and content. So if this is your first time with us, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. In today's video, with more and more of us working from home these days, I want to talk about the best practices and steps you should take in securing your home network. Okay guys, with everything going on with COVID-19, there are more people working from home now than ever. A lot of YouTubers are focusing on different video conferencing and meeting softwares, but I just wanted to take a moment and make a quick video on talking about the best practices for keeping your home network secure. So I'm going to be referring to a document from the United States National Security Agency entitled Best Practices for Keeping Your Home Network Secure. So it warns against being a victim. Cyber criminals may leverage your home network to gain access to personal, private, and confidential information. Help protect yourself and your family by observing some basic guidelines and implementing the following mitigations on your home network. So we'll go through this document pretty quickly. I'll put a link to this document down in the video description below. So let's take a look at number one. Upgrade to a modern operating system and keep it up to date. So what they're basically saying here, guys, is to make sure all of your computers and all of your devices on your network have the latest firmwares, latest operating systems, and most importantly, the latest security patches. So number two talks about exercising secure user habits, basically to prevent the threat or minimize the threat of ransomware. You should have a good backup plan in place, whether you're backing up to an external hard drive, a USB external hard drive, or using a network drive like a Synology NAS, having some sort of backup solution in place is extremely important. Here it talks about disabling your Wi-Fi when not in use, shutting the desktop off instead of leaving it in sleep mode, things like that. But most importantly, guys, have a backup plan in place. Don't learn the hard way. Let's take a look now at number three, leveraging security software. Basically here is talking about having your level of defense at your desktop, things like antivirus, anti-phishing software, anti-malware, practicing safe browsing, and making sure you have firewall capabilities turned on your device. So number four says safeguard against eavesdropping. And this is a big one, guys. In today's day and age, so many people have the digital assistance in their homes. But we're not only talking about digital assistance here, we're talking about smart devices, smart plugs, smart switches, smart thermostats, cameras. One of the things you can do here is make sure all of these devices live on their own separate network and they are properly firewalled and that network is properly firewalled off from the other networks in your home. If you want more information on that, I have videos on my channel that covers this topic. Number five talks about protecting passwords. Here we're talking about how passwords should be strong, unique for each account, and difficult to guess. One of the biggest things I see people do, using the same username and password for every online account. And the problem here is that once and if that information should be compromised, there is a potential for all of your online accounts to be at risk. So make sure you don't do that. Make sure you deploy good password management, make sure each one is strong, each one is unique for each account. Don't fall victim, don't learn the hard way. Number six talks about limiting the use of the administrator account and the obvious here is because the administrator has full access to everything on the system. Number seven talks about the firewall capabilities. So here it's things like making sure that you have your basic firewalls on your router, make sure you're using network address translation. If you want more information about any of these topics, check out some of the videos that I've done on the Edge Router series. Implement WPA2 on the wireless network. Here's another uh, area where I see is a vulnerability in a lot of uh, residential situations. 
I go into a lot of customers' homes and their Wi-Fi networks are wide open. They are usually set up by either the home user or a friend or a neighbor or a niece or a nephew. And in these cases, a lot of times they just keep the networks open with no passwords. That is an easy, easy way. That's like leaving your front door open and just saying to somebody, come on in and help yourself. So what we're suggesting here is use a Wi-Fi protected access to password WPA2. It'll secure your wireless network from being accessed by those who shouldn't be accessing it. Number nine is another good one. Limit administration to the internal network. So anything you're doing as far as network upgrades and maintenance, make sure you're doing it from inside the network and disable any remote access to your router or gateway from the outside world. Okay, a couple of things with online behavior recommendations. It talks about phishing and malicious ads and email attachments. A lot of these things have been talked about over the years. For example, with email practices, don't open an email or click on a link in an email or open an attachment from an email that comes in if you don't recognize the sender. Number two, take precautions on social media networking sites. You could read through some of these things here, but like a lot of times what I like to say, the term I like to use is think before you post. Number three, authentication safeguards. Enable strong router authentication. One of the things I see when I'm in customers' homes is that the routers are still using the default username and password. This gives easy access to anyone who is trying to get into your network just by simply Googling a certain vendor's router default credentials. Make sure you change your router username and your router password using good password practices. Make them unique and make them strong. Number four, exercise caution when accessing public hotspots. This is another big one. The recommendation I'm going to make here is that if you have to access a public hotspot, if you're in a coffee shop and you need to use their public Wi-Fi, make sure you have a VPN set up so that you can VPN into either your home network or your VPN account so that all your traffic is secured going over that VPN. Number five, do not exchange home and work content. And this kind of piggybacks on the last point that I made about using the VPN. When you're working from home, which a lot of people are doing these days, make sure you're always connecting to your corporate network using a VPN. Use of separate devices for different types of activities. This is big. I do this in my own home, actually. Here they're using the example, but this is actually the same thing I practice in my own home of having one computer for doing my financial type transactions, and then I have other devices for playing games or for entertainment. So that's a really good one, guys. Keep that in mind. Number seven, and the final tip for this video, is to upgrade to a modern browser and keep it up to date. Yes, very important. So whether you're using Chrome, Safari, Firefox, Microsoft Edge, Opera, doesn't matter. Just make sure that you keep the browser up to date. What they're saying here is not to use an older, unsupported browser, let's say like Microsoft Internet Explorer, from 10 years ago. There are a lot of security exploits with the older browsers. So again, make sure you're using a modern browser, practicing all of these security best practices, at least to minimize and mitigate the risks to your home network. So I hope this video has given you a few things to think about in taking the steps to securing your home network. If you found any value in what I had to say, please give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share, and use those Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. And most importantly, guys, stay safe and please practice social distancing. My name is Tony. This is Alice. Thank you for watching. See you next time.